Okay, drum repair, refinishing, recovering, guys, crazy dudes. Um, I thought I would do an experiment for you all so I can discover if this works or not, and so you can too. We all know about putting new pearl finish on drums, um, and we all know about the really expensive 3M Fast Bond Contact Cement, and we may know about the Weldwood non-flammable that's what nf stands for by the way 3m fast bond nf30 or 30 nf non-flammable it's water-based no solvents unlike the old contact cement in the uh, i use this at my work for a lot of different projects but that's the weldwood uh contact cement solvent paste so anyway i thought i'd try it so what I got here is a piece of maple, maple, and I'm going to go ahead and brush on some of the weldwood, and that takes a little longer to dry, so I'm going to brush this on here, and then I'm also going to, uh, I'm going to overlap it. So the plastic on plastic and see what kind of bond that makes. All right. Oh, where am I going to put it? There. And um, do again. Does this make sense? I'm going to glue a piece of the, the laminate onto the the maple simulating a drum and then I'm going to put a piece of plastic pearl on top of plastic to to simulate the overlap seam and I'm going to do it with the fast bond <clears throat> so the same same experiment with the fast bond uh, 30 nf Let's rinse my brush out with some water and we'll do our old um, we'll just do them right next to each other holy cats if I can get this cover off I guess it's pretty strong stuff there we are I know the fast bond works well but it is terribly expensive it, it, you know, 40 bucks. Really? Now, the stuff is about the same viscosity, it appears. And I just, I don't know. I think we all would like to know about alternatives. Back in my day, back in the old days, we used to, um, we used to simply use Weldwood Contact Cement, the solvent-based stuff. And in fact, Precision Drum Company recommended, and they said, not the water-based stuff, but the solvent-based. And I never had any problems with it. It worked great, but it smelled awful. And, um, and it was just kind of a drag to work with. So, they, at some point in the last 10 years, or maybe a little longer, they came out with the, the 3M Fast Bond recommendation. Of course, it's expensive, so, you know, nobody's, they're, they're not making a huge profit on it that I can tell from other sources that have this. But the whole thing is, is it's so cotton picking hard to get, you know? Suppose you want to do a project and you want to run down to your hardware store and get on it. No, you have to go online, you got to order this stuff. You know, it takes a week or whatever, plus shipping and all that. You know, and it costs you 40 bucks plus shipping. And you could look at 45, 50 bucks. You know, and can we just go down to the hardware store and get some of this and will it work? Again, I know the regular conventional Weldwood uh, contacts meant in the red can works wonderfully. Um, I've never had it destroy a plastic laminate, but... Um, what have I, I've done the 60s Oyster Black, I've done, I've done a lot of stuff. 
silver sparkle, um, black diamond, I think. You know, it's been so many years, you know, and so many projects. I, I can't even remember. But anyway, we're going to let that dry for about 30 minutes because that's the time that this requires to dry. And this, I think, is also 30 minutes. Um, I just did a drum kit the other day. You would think I'd remember it. It is, it is 30 minutes, and you've got like two or three hours working time with it also. So we're going to let that um, dry up and see where we go. Now I can see right now that the, um, the Weldwood green can is uh, right here, and we're going to mark this one. Weldwood, Weldwood, and then this one is 3M. Seems like the Weldwood is kind of pooling a little bit more. It's a little thicker coat. It's about the same viscosity, though. So anyway, let me press pause, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, <clears throat> and our contact cement is dry to the touch. And just feel it with the back of our finger. And the Weldwood green and the uh, 3M. 30 NF, 30 non-flammable. So what I'm going to do is going to take my piece that's got contact cement on both sides. This is the Weldwood. I'm going to place that on there. Then I'm going to go ahead and take the piece that's got contact cement just on the bottom side. And I'm going to overlap it to simulate a seam on a drum. Then I'm just going to take the whole works and, and press it in place. Since this is pressure sensitive stuff, as everybody knows, that's uh, once it touches, it's kind of there. It is kind of there. So this again, this one is the 3M two-sided and then the top piece and I'm going to test it strength wise to see if I can pull it back now See if we can get underneath. I feel like I need to let this dry overnight, you know? Yeah, they both could peel. I feel like the 3M's got a little stronger bond. trying to peel the wood back with my thumbnail. Now I can't get underneath the one with the weld wood. That's pretty good. And so is that. Okay, let's take a razor blade. I can get under that one, the weld wood. You know, we may have discovered a less expensive way to do this. All right, let's just do the tug test. Now, see, you can see they're, they're overlapping a little bit. So this would simulate a seam on a drum. So let me do the tug test from here and from here. Now you're not going to be doing this on your drums. I'm just going to go in the middle. I'll break my nails before I get this off. Oh yeah. See the weld wood, I can feel that wants to give. The 3M is a little stronger on that overlap bond, I think. You know, actually that's 
the overlap bond is fine. It's coming off of the uh, the maple itself. So that could just be a matter of how much I put on there. I don't know. You could try it. Might I suggest the next project you do, like on a snare drum or a small tom, something that's not like a complete refinish, go ahead and do that with the three or with the uh, the weldwood. I know the solvent based weldwood stuff is is incredible. Um, I'm not sure if it will dissolve some plastics because the plastics are made of PVC and I don't know, some other stuff. But this water-based stuff, there's no vapors, there are no odors. And you could try that on a small drum. At least if it didn't work out like you wanted it, you could replace it fairly inexpensively. You know, like if a piece of material to cover a small tom is, you know, 15 bucks or, or whatever. Um, you could always redo it with the uh, 3M. And I would think once the contact cement is cured and hardened for several days, we can, you, you'd be okay just to apply it right over it if you had to. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this, I'm going to let this dry and cure. I am going to post a follow-up video. It'll be a real short snippet. And I'll just tag it on the end of this or put a link. And then, uh, We'll go from there but but so far you know i'm pretty i'm pretty impressed i'm pretty impressed with the weldwood it is coming up a little bit so i'm gonna let that cure overnight and see what it does okay and i'll post a follow-up video thanks for watching jim flies too out